Monica. Welcome back. I am joined by Dr. Timothy Joshin from Contour Dermatology, and I'm so excited to talk with you today. <laughs> he's, he's wearing some gear today for this piece, but I am really excited because this is uh, something new and uh, creative that you are wearing on top of your head. It's called Capitalist, but uh, yes. before we get into it, tell me what it is and uh, who are the best candidates for wearing that cap? Sure. This is a new device that was approved by the FDA or cleared by the FDA for hair loss. So it's good for people who have androgenetic alopecia or female or ma male pattern hair loss. And so what it is is it's a low level laser device. And if you look inside the hat, you can see all these yeah, little yeah, LEDs. Sure. Look at this. So what Short they are is they're here. just little um, LED lights that actually stimulate hair regrowth by um, activating aging cells to, to stimulate and produce hair again. Now, is there any truth that wearing baseball caps, so to begin with, because you hear that as a wise tale, that that causes hair loss. So now you're doing the opposite. You're, you're wearing a baseball cap and you're stimulating hair growth. Sure. You know, that, that theory that baseball caps actually cause hair loss is probably not true. I mean, the only thing that really can cause hair loss in, in that kind of category would be traction alopecia. So if you see uh, girls that are wearing really tight ponytails, ah. that may cause hair loss. But Interesting. the baseball cap itself will not cause will not hair cause loss. It. So. Now, so it's got the little lasers in there. And what I found fascinating with what I was reading about it is it's not just for, I guess you would say it is for hair loss, but it's also for other things such as graying of hair. And producing better luxurious volume to your hair as well. Exactly, exactly. Explain the graying part, because that's that's bizarre to me. Well, well, the theory with this is that it's stimulating the, the hair follicles and also the pigment cells. So if you're stimulating the pigment cells, what you're doing is you're taking a, a sort of senescent or, or aging cell and stimulating it to produce pigment as well. Now that's one of the, the um, more hopeful side effects of this as opposed to the hair growth. So, you know, you, I wouldn't guarantee anybody that they're going to get darker than the hair. Have to go to the hairstylist anymore and right. get color and get treatments. Color. <laughs> <laughs> now, how does it work though? It's got the lasers in it, but how often do you wear it? How quickly do you see results? Sure. With well, this device, it's really simple. What you do is you wear it for 30 minutes every other day. So you can wear it on your way to work or something like that. So it's pretty comfortable to put on your head. Um, and you won't notice results for about four to six months. But with hair follicles, you know, it takes a long time to see your hair grow. Um, so it, it's a pretty quick treatment. And is it expensive? Um, yeah, somebody said the only <laughs> side effect is the, the effect on your wallet, and that is it's about $3,000, and then you have to buy batteries once a year, so it's $40. $40 a year investment for the battery. Because it's, it's not a one-time deal either. It takes the, about six months before you see the results, but you have to, like most hair loss, even the products that you use, once you start using them, you have to keep using it, right? Yes, but keep in mind, you know, a lot of people get scared off by that. They don't want to do uh, Rogaine, they don't want to do Propecia, because they say once you start it, you have to use it forever. That's not really true. What it means is that it's going to stimulate new hair growth and fatten the hairs that you have and keep hairs from falling out. Once you stop using the device or the pills or the products, then those hairs that you retain are going to fall off. So um, the thing is, it's not going to cause further hair loss. It's just you're going to lose the stuff that you gained, All right. basically. Very interesting. And, and just for a side note, though, you don't have to wear this cap. You can wear any baseball cap. That's true. That's yes. right. All right. Thank you, Dr. Timothy Joshin. And another thing, if you're interested, talk to talk Dr. Timothy Joshin. By the way, I like balding guys. I'm okay with that. <laughs> we'll be right back with more news mm. after the break. <laughs> 